Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading with the nightly market video update for uh, Wednesday, June the 3rd. So we had another crazy day today. Um, it's, market is just, it's just gone bonkers. Um, if you look at this, this looks pretty calm, right? But what you don't see is, let me move this over here. Uh, you don't see the big gap up we had overnight here um, from about the 3080 level. We had a big gap up here, and then we just all day long just kept going, going, going for about 50 points almost in the SPX. Um, big move, and I, I can't remember how much it was in the Dow. I saw at one point we were up about 500 points on the Dow. So um, really, really, yeah, here we close it fi up 527 on the Dow. So big, big, big big move on top of you know many other big moves and I'm searching for you know something to be driving us and what's making this thing move and apparently it's hope of uh, an economic recovery from the everybody getting back to work and coronavirus and all that kind of stuff and you know of course there's such a huge disconnect between the reality that we all know is going on with you know chaos and you know all the things china troubles getting a little bit worse kind of going back and forth on that again we you know as far as i can tell no really difference in the coronavirus situation but you know the market keeps rallying so you know how how's the best way to handle this and if we look um let's go back here let's see five days um, if you look, just that's a five-day chart. Uh, we've gone from 29.67 up to 31.30. That's about what 165 points, something like that. You know, uh, big. You know, we know big moves, right? And it's been very, very directional here from 29.23. What is that? 200 and something points. Um, anyway, again, one way. So let me show you this. I talked about this last week. If we go out here, zoom out a little bit. Um, my thinking had been, nothing's really changed. I've been looking at this area here between these, uh, the snow line here and the snow line here as, um, as an area that we kind of consolidate in. And I thought we were going to break to the downside and come back to this fire line. And we did just exactly the opposite on, you know, horrible news all the way across the board, you know. Uh, straight up into this tree line. This tree line right here is 3118. And this is exactly what you call climbing the wall of worry that we always hear about, you know. Um, and, and it's also, you know, it's hope for more Fed uh, stimulus and all that kind of stuff. It, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of bonkers. But, um, but I had been thinking, and I said in last week's video, I said um, once we kind of cleared that, skyline and got to or cleared this um, I said you know here's my target for a move back down and then maybe we come back down to the snow line and maybe we consolidate before maybe making a run up here um, but also you know we have to also think at some point all of this news you know should set into the market that the reality is that we're not going to have this v-shaped recovery I don't believe um, we you know it's appearing to be a v-shaped um, chart in the stock market i don't think it's going to be a v-shape in the actual economy um you know like they're saying an immediate rebound of the economy i don't see that i just don't see that happening i talked to too many business owners and have friends that are shutting down or you know laid off people and they're not going to come back full staff and you know i don't know how restaurants can survive at 40 percent capacity or whatever they have to be at right now anyway um, so I just don't see this thing, you know, magically getting better overnight, but be that as it may, you know, maybe we do this and keep chopping higher, um, or maybe reality sets in say July, August time frame, and we go this way. Um, no way to tell big question mark, but it doesn't really matter because, you know, we, we're going to keep trading this thing the same way we've been trading. And that is to keep a lot of cash and be very, very selective on your trades. Um, you know, if you're a batter, you're not going to swing at every pitch. We're going to we're going to look and look and, you know, until we find the right setup, we have an edge in, you know, good entry point, everything lines up and, you know, and, and take it and watch it very closely, manage our risk, you know, that type of thing. Um, so, you know, there are names that are just running like 
crazy. Uh, for example, uh, Lulu, straight up, you know, way out of my voodoo lens there. Uh, restoration hardware, again, straight up. Um, I talked about this pool, which is a swimming pool supply company. I guess everybody's staying home you know, with coronavirus fear and there's, you know, getting their pools out and running and all that stuff, I suppose. Um, Camping World is, you know, Dave started a really good trade in that thing. It's run off, you know, out the top. But, um, and on and on and on, Tractor Supply, this one has uh, baffled me. You know, um, I'm just, <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy stuff going on, right? Uh, but you ride the winners as they're going. We know the Zoom, DocuSign, Work, um, of course, a Facebook, Amazon, Netflix kind of stuff. Those are good to you know good areas to play in. So you've got a a small list of names that you can still ride to the upside, and then you know we try to protect ourselves and hedge on the downside. And I'm trading the S&P a lot actually, um, but I'm not doing black swan kind of stuff here. And I'm just trying to ride this thing up and uh, with the full knowledge that you know we can have a pullback here at any point. You know skyline, skyline, snow line. You know or you know, at some point there might be a catalyst and we do get a big flush down here somewhere. But, uh, but again, for right now, I am a, I am a, uh, bullish bear, meaning I'm trading this thing to the upside, but I'm still bearish in my mind and, uh, trying to, you know, use as much discipline as I can try, you know, sizing small and, uh, and being very, very selective in my trades again. And, uh, lastly, I'll leave you with this. Look at the NASDAQ. I mean, this is kind of crazy. We're back up to the all-time high here. And a lot of the names that we talked about, they do trade on the NASDAQ. So this is, I can understand this, and this is very extreme, uh, but that's where the money's going. You know, the money's going in a handful of names, and that's never really a good thing because you don't have broad participation. But uh, again, we're not in ordinary times here. So um, be very careful out there. Pick your names carefully. Don't ever get commit too committed you know, really one way or the other, because, um, you know, we're, we're going to have some back and forth whipsaw stuff and, and really also make the, you know, I, I've been making decisions, you know, really day by day and, you know, quote unquote, back in the old days, uh, before all this started, you know, I could kind of plan two, three months out for 30, 45, 60 days out on my trades and do iron condors and all that kind of stuff. You just can't really do that as much right now. Um, so, you know, take everything you, you have in, in your, uh, interpretation or your, um, setting up of your trades and look in much, much shorter time frames, days and, you know, days and weeks and be sure to know what events are coming up, fed, you know, etc. earnings, that kind of stuff. And, um, that's what I've got. So that's what I'm doing and, um, hope this helps and, uh, I'll see you guys at the next update and I'm sure things will be a lot different a week from now when I do the next update. So thanks for the time. Take care and I'll talk to you soon.